Hey, what's up guys? Here's the V-Line in our 2014 Acura MDX. As you can see, we are on the main menu of our V-Line VL2 and everything seems to be working. We're connected to the internet. Uh, I've put up Google Play Store, although I haven't signed into my account. Uh, but let's check out some of the functions, uh, local music. So local music is if I had a flash drive with music, I can plug it into the V-Line and uh, play music that I have stored on a flash drive, but I don't have anything right now. Um, web radio. So it's this kind of radio app. And uh, so I have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Let's check out Android Auto first. I'm gonna plug in my phone. I have a Samsung Note 8. And just give it a few seconds, and there it is. It's up. So, last time I used it, I probably had it on Google Maps. So, it immediately showed Google Maps. But let me scroll down. Hit the kind of main menu, and there it is. Here's the This is the new Android Auto look. So, it's slightly different than probably what you've seen in before. So I'm just using the rotary knob just to go through the different icons. So I have Waze on here too, so let me just go to Waze. Alright, and there's and then there's Waze. So right now I'm in the map portion of the menu using the rotary knob and then to get down to the bottom menu bar where I have my media player which is currently on Pandora or to get to the main menu just hit the down cursor and I can use the rotary knob again and go left and right and so I'm just going to select main menu cool let me go to Pandora show you guys Pandora and same thing, so I'm on the players menu right here. And if I hit the down cursor, it takes me to the bottom menu bar. Go back up. Okay, I'm just hit play. So there it is. Music's playing. So I can use the steering wheel control. So I'm gonna use the steering wheel control, next track. And then there's next track. And then the volume on the steering wheel is working. All right, let me pause this. All right. So I can actually use the menu button on the uh, right of the cursor or the joystick. So that takes me back to the menu. All right, and then to get back into the Grom menu, I'm just gonna exit Android Auto and that'll take me back here. Um, okay. Let me just hit menu right of the joystick again. So that takes me back to the main menu of V-Line. So again, to access the different toolbars within either uh, Android Auto or within V-Line, use the cursor keys to access the different tool uh, menus or toolbars. So like the left toolbar, Use the left cursor, the top left corner now is highlighted. Use the rotary knob to scroll up and down. To get to the main icons, I use the right cursor. So now the main icons are highlighted. And then to get to the bottom toolbar, just scroll to down and there's that. I can hit the page, previous page, and then the edit icons. Okay, so let me unplug my Android Auto or Android and let me uh, plug in my iPhone, show you guys CarPlay. So the icon should turn green and there it is and it should pop up in a few seconds and there it is. Here's Apple CarPlay and using the rotary knob. So 
with CarPlay, I don't have to use any cursor keys to access to the left toolbar. I just use the rotary knob. And let me get into, say, music. And then rotary knob again, play. And then, again, steering wheel controls, volume up. And then next track. So, steering wheel controls work. Let me just pause it. I'm going to hit the menu button on the right of the joystick. Gets me back to the main menu. Let's take a look at maps. Alright. And again, rotary knob. You know, Zoom in. Zoom out. Get to the cursors so I can pan pan around the uh, the map. I can use the left back button on left of the joystick on the Honda Acuras. That'll exit out of the menu. And then I can hit I'm gonna hit menu button again right of the joystick. Takes me back to the main menu of CarPlay. And then there's an icon here for Grom. That will take me back into the V-Line menu. So there it is, guys. This is the 2014 Acura MDX with the Gen 3 Acura radio. The Gen 3 means that it's a dual screen radio. Um, the bottom is just more or less a setting, like a display uh, for your settings and stuff like that. And the top is where your navigation, that's the actual monitor per se. So... There it is. I showed you guys Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the VL2 is fully functional in our 2014 Acura MDX.